Okay, I see how to take out these rear windows so you can put in pop-up windows, pop-out windows. What you do is you pry this chrome strip up, you get it up off, and then you want to use the screwdriver and start getting this pulled up. And once you start getting this pulled up, I'll pull this chrome strip out all the way around. Sometimes it'll break, sometimes it won't. It's made out of plastic. If it breaks, just get started. Right, you left off. Like so. Keep pulling. That's out. And now you get the window ready to come out. Now I see how to take it out in a second here once you get somebody to hold the camera and somebody to hold the window. Don't mind my son complaining in the background if you hear baby noises, that's what it is. But what you want to do is you want to try to push this window out from the inside. So what I was trying to do there was pull up the rubber around the edges. The rubber and all will come out. Helps sometimes you can push it with your feet, your hands, whatever. Right. Been in there since 74. Got it. I got it. Just catch it. Just pull it And there's the windows out. You just gotta be careful. You don't want to press on even pressure on it, cause it to blow out. I mean, I probably could have got it in one shove with my foot, but I don't feel like making the window explode. And once you uh, get your window out, it's really not that bad. You wipe this down with some soap and water, and that's how you get your uh, standard windows out when you're trying to put pop-up windows in okay now you want to find your holes i got that cleaned out it's going to leave some scuffs from where the rubber was in there in the years but you really won't see it so i wouldn't worry about it but what you do to find the holes on the inside here is you can sometimes feel them on the outside like right there i can feel it now, what i want to do is get on the inside here and uh Figure out where they're at. And once you figure out where they're at, take a, I gotta use an awl, but I got a small screwdriver. Right there. So once you figure out where they're at, you do that. And there should be uh, five holes, I believe. Just get through, do them one at a time, each hole, and I'll show you what to do next. Also, it, uh, the back ones, it helps once you get the window in to poke those holes, because then you can put the latch on and line it up and see where it is, like so. Okay, now here's how the window works. I got new seals on them. I got the seals, I got the... Uh, screws, these are the screws that go in the back, these are the screws that go in the front, I got the uh, covers like this, and the uh, the rounds for the corners, and uh, I got all those from Wolfberg's West, uh, I'm not getting paid to say anything about them, but Wolfberg's West has a wide selection of like Volkswagen parts that I can't find anywhere else or if I do find them anywhere else they're five times the price so if you're looking to do this whole swap thing you, you can get your parts from there I'll, I'll put the part numbers in the descriptions they may change the part numbers and whatnot but anyways let's get on to the windows these windows are original German VW windows I put new seals on them earlier didn't show you how to do that there's already enough video showing how to do that my best suggestion with that though is to use a lot of silicone lubricant and use a plastic. I use this piece of plastic. 
a piece of plastic off a mouse trap. I use that to shove the seal in all the way around so you can tear it up. But this is the metal bar that everything screws in. These are original German ones too. And you take this bar, and nobody really tells you this part, but you gotta shove this bar in under here. And then what you do is you get the uh, edge of the window in here. The bar goes on the back side. The edge of the window goes in here. Then you tighten down the screws. So that's what it'll look like when you get it in. I don't know if you can see it, but the bar is back there. Back there in the back. And then the little like C shape is over top there. And then you put a short screw in the top short screw in the bottom you'll see if you get the kit you have that screw and this longer screw and then a short screw in the middle and you use the longer screws when you get the uh, plastic covers they go here and here and uh... now you want to put this on it's pretty self exclamatory I got the white it looks really good with the uh, white roof Basically, you just want to get it started at the bottom. You just keep pushing it in all the way down. Make sure you pack it all the way down. And it's pretty self-explanatory. Just keep going all the way around the headliner. Make sure you tuck it in tight. You'll probably have a little bit of overhang. And there's a piece of steel in there. So when you cut it, get yourself a set of sights, snips, dikes, whatever you want to call them. And uh, cut it level to there. But there's a piece of metal in it so you can't cut it for razor blade. Now this is by far the hardest part of the ordeal for me anyways is finding where these sorry I dropped my camera. Finding where these go. What I did is I get it lined once you find the one, you pretty much can line it up. Find the ballpark area. Best way to do it is to feel the top one. You'll find a hole like right there. I can feel the hole. So what you do is you take a awl or a small screwdriver. And there's the hole. And the back one, I line up the front too. I usually get them started. You get them started the front too, and then you can line up the back ones. The screws you use for the uh, back are uh, these. And now your windows are installed, and that's how you do it. As always, yeah, like, like, subscribe, and uh, favorite my videos. Later.